So everybody look at this um, chapter six. Huh? In the earlier lesson, I've told you that we have three subtopic. The first one, you learn about linear equation in one variable. After that, you learn linear equation in two variables. And then the third one is going to be the simultaneous linear equations in two variables. Okay, so uh, in the 6.2 subtopic, we have learned these three in the last lesson. Okay, whereby what are linear equations in two variables, we have learned this uh, and then we will learn how to form linear equations and also determine the possible solutions. So the only thing that we are going to learn today uh, is to represent it graphically, meaning we are going to draw a graph here. It's very important for you to learn on how to draw the graph uh, because right now is the basic. When you enter in the higher form later on, form 3, form 4, form 5, each of the form you are going to learn to draw different types of graphs. So your basic must be very good in drawing the graph right now. Okay, so we are going to enter into the graph only today. Make sure you know how to draw graph. Huh? Okay, so this is the part. How do you represent graphically linear equations in two variables? So to represent it graphically, what we need to do is, I just follow your exploration activity in your book. Huh? What you need is, you need to complete the table from the given equation. So we are going to try to do this later on. We are given four of the linear equation. Okay, do you still remember the meaning of linear equation? If I say linear equation into unknowns, what are the characteristics? Do you still remember? Variables. Pardon? Again? Linear equation in two variables, which means that linear equation must have two variables. We look at the first one here. So this one is a linear equation in two variables. One, two. After that, if it is linear, linear means it is to the power of one over here okay and the linear over here the meaning is something like a range uh, or the number in a straight line so later on our graph will all be a straight line okay straight line graph okay one more thing this so before i continue with this one uh, just for you to recall it do you remember what is the general form for an equation we learned this last week right what is the general form of an equation anyone can let me know general form you don't remember okay. general form Anyone can answer me? What is the general form? You have to bear in mind. Huh? Start with A. Are you still with me? Everybody with me, right? Okay. Anyone can answer me? Nobody, you don't remember. You have to remember this, huh? Okay. A X plus B Y equal to C. This is general form. Okay. Can everybody say after me? A X plus B Y equal to C. Yeah. A X plus B Y equal to C. Okay. Thank you very much. So you can see the X and Y is referring to the variable. A, B, and C are constant. Constant means it's a fixed value. So it can be replaced by all the number. It can be 2x plus 4y equal to 7. Okay, so the A, B, and C are constant. Remember this, huh? So now we are going to look at the first equation over here. x minus y equal to negative 2. So to draw a graph... Okay, what we need to do is we need to form up this table. We call this table of value. I write down table of value. Okay, which means we have all the value replaced or the solution for the x. Huh? The x will be 0, 
one, two, three, four, five. That gives you that line. So you need to find out the value of y over here from the given equation. Okay. Now let's move on. This is the one. I enlarge it. Okay. So from here, we have to solve all the equation given. First one, x minus y equal to negative 2. So when x equal to, I show the first one to you, uh, 0. When x equal to 0, so you need to substitute the value of 0 into the equation x over here, which will be 0 minus y equal to negative 2. So the remaining here on the left, 0 minus y, we still have negative y equal to negative 2. So to get rid of the negative sign over here, we are going to divide by negative 1. So i show it to you with other color here. Okay, we need to divide by negative 1 on both sides. Only then, after you divide by negative 1, negative divided by negative is a positive. So y over 1 is actually y. And then same thing to the right here, the number here. Negative divided by negative is positive. So 2 divided by 1 is a 2. So next time when you see this number, negative y equal to negative 2 directly, you don't have to show this. You can change it to positive y equal to 2. Okay, now I give you one more example for this type of uh, number. For example, if I said negative x equal to negative 5, can you tell me what is the value of x? Anyone? What is the value of x, class? 1. 5. Correct. x is equal to 5 directly. Okay, you just need to change the sign on both sides. So let's carry on. That's how we have y equal to 2 when x equal to 0. So you can see when x is 0, y equal to 2. That is how they get it. And then you replace it by writing down them in ordered page. Ordered page like this, it means the coordinate actually. So 0, is this is the x coordinate. This is the y coordinate at 0, 2. Okay, now we are going to look for 1. When the value of x is equal to 1, if you can get the answer in your mind without calculation, just go ahead. But usually, I think at your level right now, you need to show how to get it. So when x equal to 1, meaning the equation here, the x will be 1. So 1 minus, minus y. negative 2. Okay, we need to get the value of y. Huh? So I have to keep the y here on the left. Negative y is equal to negative 2 minus 1. So negative 2 minus 1 is? Same sign. We copy the sign. Then we add the number, right? 2 plus 1, how much? 3. Yes, I'm going to call your name later on to answer me all this. Huh? Meaning negative y equal to negative 3. So what should I do next? I'm going to test you. Um, Jennifer, what is the step next? Jennifer? Are you with me? Jennifer, are you with me? I don't want when you keep... Uh, you can't hear me? How many of you can't hear me? Is my sound not clear? You can't hear me? I can. I can hear you. Can you. My sound very soft, my voice very soft or, or loud for you all? Soft or loud, let me know. Not too loud, not too soft. Okay, just nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Uh, for those who can't hear me, can't describe it. For those who can't hear me, there might be problem with your computer. For you, it's dark. Putus, putus. Is it weird? No, no not. Not, ah. Uh. No. Okay, meaning the, the problem is at your side, lah, not my side. Lah. Okay, so Jennifer oh, or Jaden also slow and stuck. Okay, maybe your Wi-Fi. 
Okay, I try to speak clearer. Jennifer, if I refer to this question just now, I want to get the value of y. Can you tell me what is the value of y, Jennifer? Can you answer me? Cannot? Oh, if that's the case, then you have to refer to the video recording later on. Tiffany, can you answer me? Also cannot. I move to the next person. Um, what do we see? Can you answer me? What is the next step after this? Negative y equal to negative 3 becomes what? Ahmad Dawisi, are you here? Okay, can you tell me what is the next step after that? Negative y equal to negative 3. So what is the next step? Do you have to type your mic? Cannot connect, is it? Can or not? Oh, the mic is broken. Okay, so can you give me the answer for the next step? That's the final answer, actually. Negative 1 is Mahani set. Do you think it's correct, Ahmad? I show you two seconds. Negative y equal to negative three. What is the value of y? Okay, now tell me. A lot of your friend is answering for you already. I want Ahmad. Ahmad, can you answer? Can or cannot? You just tell me. Can or cannot? negative one okay the answer is not negative one i told you class when we want to get the value of y you divide by negative one nothing wrong but you don't have to go through this step already because just now i've already told you if both sides are negative you just need to change them to positive directly so y is equal to three straight away simple negative y equal to negative three so y is three positive y equal to positive three that's all so after we get the tree, okay, we are going to put it into the table here, the table of value. Therefore, it will be tree. Okay, so what should I write down for the ordered pair? Next person. Mm, let's see. Uh, Timothy. Timothy, what should I write down here? Can you see? Uh, what should I write down here? Uh, Any idea? Simple, you just need to copy down from the value of x and y. What is that? Timothy said one three okay that's correct thank you one three okay i move on now so we need to find all the value over here if you observe carefully from what we did just now zero minus y equal to negative two this one one minus y equal to negative two you actually can calculate in your mind but if you really can't we try one more time huh? now what is the value of x two two the x is 2 right now by referring to the table of value. So when x is 2, meaning 2 minus y equals negative 2. Okay, so negative y is negative 2 minus 2. So negative 2 minus 2, how much? Negative 2 minus 2, how much, class? <laughs> Same sign, you remember? I test you. I test you. Yes, it is not four. Negative on four. Negative four. Correct. Okay. 
So when negative y equals to negative 4, what is the value of y? Four. Y. Four. Yes, very good. Y is equal to 4. So we just fill in the table. Y is equal to 4. Okay, what should I fill in for the ordered page? Let's see. Mm. Aswin? Aswin, can you tell me what should I fill in in the ordered page here? Um, two and four. Two comma four. Thank you. Very good, Aswin. Okay, so we continue uh, with three. So, actually... I said you don't have to write down everything, right? So can you just substitute the 3 here with the value of the x? Okay, meaning I just substitute into the x over here. So 3 minus y is negative 2. Negative y equal to negative 2 plus or minus? Plus. It's not plus. Okay, if that's the case, I have to show you one by one because you can't get it. When x equal to 3, 3 right now, huh? So, comma, 3 minus y equal to negative 2. So, negative y is negative 2. I want to send the 3 over. It will become negative because it is positive here. So, negative 3. Negative 2 minus 3. So, when you have same sign, we just copy the sign. And then we add up the number. 2 plus 3 equal to how much? 5. Correct. So y is equal to how much? 5, correct. Therefore, we fill in, it is 5 over here. Okay, so what is the ordered pair next? The rest? Three, uh, okay, you give me the answer already. Thank you. It is very good. Okay, now I'm not going to continue with the calculation. Huh? I assume you already know how to do that. So if you observe carefully, when x is equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the pattern just plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, right? And then we will get the answer, 2, 3, 4, 5. The floor is just nice, isn't it? Can you guess what will be the answer next in the last two? 6. six. Yeah, 6 and? 7. Seven, correct. So if you can just fill it in, it will be correct. But you need to observe carefully. Lah. you got to make sure it's correct. Then only you can do like this. If it is not, then you cannot do like this. Huh? So next thing, from here, we are going to construct our graph. Do you know the meaning of construct? Construct. Maksudnya, bina. Kita akan bina graph. Okay, you look carefully on how to construct the graph, huh? Meaning, when you're constructing the graph over here, you have to look at the highest value and the lowest value of each of the axes. Okay, I'm going to let you know what is the axis later on. Okay, now if you look at the value of x, can you tell me which one is the lowest and the highest value? The lowest value first? Which one? Zero. Zero, correct. The highest value is? So, the highest value for x is 5. 5. Yeah. Whereas for y, the lowest value is 2, the highest value is 7. The purpose I asked you to identify it because we need to show the scale later on. We must fit all the value into the graph. So we must fit from 0 to 5, and then for the y-axis, we must fit from 2 to 7. Okay. So I'm going to wrap off the calculation over here so that I can show you clearly on how to draw the graph. Huh? This part, you make sure you do it. The one that I'm rubbing off right now, you have to do it. Huh? Okay, so now I'm going to enlarge it. I'm going to use this as the grid line. You got to remember here, in this, uh, this part over here, I'm going to ask you to do it at home because you need to draw the graph. Okay, so you need to use your exercise book. Is your exercise book still with you? Yes. yes. Now you need yes. to use the grid line like this. That's why I'm showing you the grid line right now. Okay, so we are going to draw based on the table given. Oh, it's quite big over here. Can I make it smaller? Let me see. If I make it smaller, 
Okay, never mind. I'm just going to use it. Like for this equation, uh, I move it up a bit. Okay, in a graph, we will have two axes. I use orange. But remember, when you draw graph, you must use pencil. Uh. So I'm just going to draw using my free hand. For your case, you need to use ruler. It's a must. Okay, I'm going to make it fast. That's why I need to use free hand. So you are going to draw two lines, indicating the x and the y axis. This is the y axis. I'm oh, sorry, this is the x axis. So you just need to label x. The vertical line here, this is the y axis. So you label y. And then the intersection of these two lines over here, we call it the origin. Label it with zero. Always like that. After that, you need to put from, you need to insert now from zero until five for the x axis. So in the x axis over here, you are going to label one by one. So jot down zero until five. So this is more than enough, right? It's more than 10 parts over here. So I'm just going to use the small box here. To indicate one, two, three, four, five is enough. One, two, three, four, five. And then for the y axis, we will have two, three, until seven. Okay, but then you cannot exclude number one. Huh? Therefore, we still have one. You look at the line here, we still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So label it seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Okay, now we are going to plot the point zero, two. Zero, two means in the x axis it is zero. So x axis zero is over here. Okay, and then y axis is two. So the point is right here. Can you see? I'm going to use different color huh, so that you can see clearer. Uh, small one. Okay, so 0, 2 is right here. You need to cross it. You need to cross like that in the intersection of the grid line. I don't want you to use a dot like that. Huh? Don't use a dot like this. This is um, not advisable. Uh, we prefer to use this. Okay, so we are going to plot 1, 3 right now. 1, 3 means in the x-axis, it is 1. So 1 is here. In the y-axis, it is 3. So 3 is here. Therefore, the coordinate is right here. Okay, so I'm going to plot 1, 3. For the next one will be 2, 4. Okay, you can just refer to this. 2 in the x-axis, 4 in the y-axis. So I plot this. Okay, continue with 3, 5. So 3, 5 is here. After that, 4, 6. So this is 4, and then this is six. So the point is here. And the last one is five, seven. So five is here, seven is here. Therefore, the point is here. And lastly, you just need to join up all the points over here. Start from the first one till this last. Okay, so just join it up till the last one. You don't have to extend it to the back, huh? no need. Okay, so we have done our first linear graph already for the function, okay, or for the equation, x minus y equal to negative 2. You can write down the equation lastly. x minus y equal to negative 2. Means this is the graph for x minus y equal to negative 2. So it is done. Are you okay, class? Yes. Yes. yes ma so I'm going to try for another few more examples together with you. How many of you already have your jam board? Can I see a rest of hand? Jam board. I want to see a rest of hand for those who already have jam board because I need to use jam board right now. Raise up your hand uh, for those who have jam board. Fifteen only. Some of you might miss out the lesson. I hopefully you know what is a jam board, huh? To get a jam board, sixteen only. To get a jam board, you go to your Google class here, the nine dots over here, the Google app. This part, huh? You look for your jam board. All of you who are using the computer or laptop, you're supposed to have this 
because the new version already have Jamboard, so you just click it on. And I'm sharing the Jamboard with you already, so you're supposed to have it. Only 16 of you are maximum. Um, okay, never mind. Can I jot down the name for a while? You give me some time. I jot down the name for those who have it now, so that we can try together later on. Okay. So this will be the more active student, uh -huh. Azwin, Shamina. Well, uh, I, I, I'm writing down Alicia, Ahmad, Amelia, Ismahani, Olympia, Michelle, Tiffany. For those who doesn't have, uh, I advise you to go and install it when you have time. Uh, Penti already raised up your hand. Very good. Tiffany, Rowin, Anis, Habib, Evansa, Jaden, Queen, Rowini. Oh, sorry. Uh, give me some time. Magdalene, Hannah, Yusuf, Sharifa, Tamisha, Putri, Animal, Alan Harris. Okay, so we only have this much, huh? The rest, uh, please um, try to install it next time. Uh, make sure you have it because I'm going to use it together with you all. So this is what I have originally. Ah, your friend are playing already. <laughs> Excited, is it? Can you help me to rub it off first? I need to delete this. Everybody help me to rub it off. Uh, you can see your friends helping me to rub it off. You write it off, uh, I'm going to copy the question from here. Where is my question? Ah, okay, here is B. Hopefully, we can do it. Ah, clean and clear. Very good. Thank you. <laughs> well, ah, uh, okay. So, first, what do we call this? Do you still remember? We call this? Okay, no more writing. Uh. I'll let you write later on. I know you are very excited. We call this table of values. Okay. Do I need to write down? I write down uh, table of values. Uh. So the next time you remember when I say fill in the table of value, you have to do that. So whenever equation is given, you have to do the table of value first. Table of value. Okay. For example, in the question that um, you learn later on, uh, you are only given an equation. They won't show you this. They won't show you this. Uh, can you move away first? Move away. Go, 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 go. <laughs> go away first. I'll let you do later on. I Don't keep writing down. Wait. Stop. <laughs> okay. I'll let you know uh, in the question that you practice later on, you are going to be given only an equation like this. So... Before you do anything, you have to construct your own table of value, okay? And then they are going to give you the value, then you just put it in. Okay, now for example, you're given the x minus 2y equal to x. So you are asked to find out when x equal to 0, what is the value of y? Okay, I know you are very excited. Now, I'm going to divide this into three, I think four parts also can. I'm going to divide it into four parts. So, some of you are going to show me the equation here. When x equal to zero, you are you writing down using a pen or your hand, your finger? Hey, what happened? My finger. finger. Wow. I just my one. Can you stop doing that for a while? I need to copy back. Mm. very excited okay i'm going to divide it into four parts so i'm uh, stop writing uh, my turn to write right now uh, i'll let you write later on i don't know whether four of you can write down together or not 
I'm going to divide this into four parts. Okay, first part will be when x equal to zero. And then second one will be when x equal to two. Followed by when x equal to four. When x equal to six. Okay, I'm going to assign you to do this. Huh? First question, let me simply choose. Um, Sharifa, you are going to do it here. Second question, um, Yusuf. Followed by the third one, this one, the third one here is, um, let me see, Isma Hani. And the last one here, when x equal to 6, uh, Michelle. So, you just need to write down your own test. Don't mix up with the, with the others. Can you write right now? Can all of you write together? I'm not sure. Huh? We are trying, huh? testing. Huh? Can all of you write together? What you need to do is you need to choose the correct uh, color that you want over here. And then this is the eraser. Huh? If you put it wrong, then you just re re erase it and write again. Sharifa, you hear me? Yes. Okay, can you write? Can you write, Sharifa? Yes. Okay, Yusuf, you hear me? Yusuf, can yes. you write? Yes, madam. Okay, can you write? The rest, uh, your name is not called, uh, so please don't do anything start from now on. Uh, I know you, you just need to erase all of this. Uh, erase, okay, don't do anything anymore, please. Your friend need to use the whiteboard over here. How come nobody is writing? When x equal to zero, meaning that you substitute the x into the equation here. Okay, I think not four can write together, right? Can four of you trying to write something here together? I want to see whether you can do it or not. Sharifa, Yusuf, is Mahani, Michelle, right now. You write something. Write together. Okay, Sharifa can write. What about the rest? Meaning the space is not enough, huh, Sharifa? Okay, if that's the case, Yusuf, you do it right down. I'm going to wrap this off. Give space to Sharifa. So you do it in a piece of paper, Yusuf, when x equal to 2, and then later on you fill in the answer over here. Okay? So I'm going to give space to Sharifa and then also uh, Michelle. I'm giving space to Ismahani over here because it's not enough. So Michelle, you do it on a piece of paper. After you have done it, you give me the answer. When x is equal to 6 here, what is the value of y? Okay. I think not everybody can write together. Not everybody can write together. So we let Sharifa write first. The rest don't do anything. Eh? Okay, Sharifa, you can continue. Sharifa, are you doing it? Sharifa, are you still there? She said 
it's too small. Oh, it's too small, ha. Huh? Okay, now I want volunteer. Anyone who is volunteer to write, maybe you have a mouse or a pen over here that you can write better. So, Sharifa, because it's too small for you. Anybody else can write for her? Volunteer, I saw a lot of you is very interested in writing down just now. Oh, Shamina. Shamina, can you write? Lower down already. Anyone can write? Raise up your hand. Shamina, you can write, is it? Oh, put down your hand already. Who can write? Who can write? So this three, huh? Okay, Shamina, can you go ahead? If it wastes a lot of time, then I'm okay. Go ahead. Shamina, are you there? Yes, okay, right. The rest don't do anything, huh? okay? Let her write. And then you try to see whether your friends do it correctly or not. I, please don't write for her, huh? Madeline, go away, Madeline. Okay, I can see. <laughs> so the answer is that is it, Sharifa? Ashamina? Okay, you, you are not done yet. Okay, continue. It's okay, I can see. Is that all? Oh, you, you make a divider some more. Is that all? Okay, thank you very much, Shamina. Nice try. So I want to write something here for you all. Huh? Uh, okay, we look at Shamina's work. When x equal to 0, so we substitute the x equal to 0 here. 0 minus 2y equal to x. You just follow everything from here. So first one is correct. Very good. And then if you look at this, and no more writing, please. No more writing. Okay, if you look at this one, negative uh, 2y equal to add minus 0. Add minus 0, we don't have to do anything. Minus 0 is the same, so we don't have to show this. Okay, then Shamina show that negative 2y equal to add divided by negative 2. So once you divide by negative 2 down here, okay, can you show, can you see my arrow with red point? Can or not? Can somebody answer me? Because I don't know what are you looking at at your side. Can you see my red point? Yes, okay. Yes. Thank, you. Yes. Thank you very much. So once you move the negative 2 down here, actually there's no more negative 2 because you already moved it down. Remember that. Meaning y equal to x divided by negative 2. So this is a positive x, positive divided by negative. The answer is negative, correct? 
add divide by 2 is 4, correct? But then this is not 2 anymore. Okay, the remaining here is supposed to be y. This is y. y equal to negative 4. Therefore, you don't have to show this. The answer is y equal to negative 4. So when x is 0, you go to this part here, y equal to negative 4. Okay? I think I can't use this with you all. A lot of you is very busy playing with the Jamboard right now. I'm going back to my whiteboard. So go back. Okay, this question. I enlarge it, huh? Okay, you can see, right? Yes. yes. Um, we go back to GM right now. Don't play with the gem board. So now, she just now she get negative 4 over here. So I'm just going to write down the answer, negative 4. And then the ordered pace, ordered pace will be 0, negative 4. Okay, now we are going to try out 2. So I give you some example. I'm going to give you uh, two more examples. Later on, you are going to tell me what is the value over here. Okay. Just now I gave two to Yusuf, right? Yusuf, have you calculated the answer for this one? If not, then we are going to do it together. Yusuf, have you done it? Uh, not yet, madam. Not yet. Okay, never mind. I'm going to show you all on this. Huh? So the x is 2. I'm going to substitute the 2 into the x here. Okay, which means you just write down when x equal to 2. So 2 minus 2y equal to x. You copy down everything from the equation given. Okay, only then only the, the only thing is you substitute the x with 2. Okay, so we want to get the value of y. Huh? I'm going to move the 2 to the back. Okay, so this 2 will be moved to the back becomes x minus 2. Therefore, the y is equal to x minus 2 here is 6. So I'm going to uh, I write down first huh? 6. Negative 2y equals 6. So y is 6 divided by negative 2. The answer is negative, negative 3. Okay, so I'm going to do it fast. Huh? You got to make sure you know how to solve the linear equation right now because we have already learned this two to three lessons already. Okay, so the ordered pairs will be 2, negative 3. Okay, I continue with 4 when x equal to 4. Sorry, and the dog is barking very noisy. So 4 minus 2y equal to x. Negative 2y is, we are going to send the 4 over, positive 4 becomes negative 4. So it becomes x minus 4. x minus 4 is 4. So if you want to get the value of y here, we need to send the negative 2 over becomes 4 divided by negative 2. You understand, right? Because this is negative 2 times y. So when you send this over, it becomes divide by negative 2. Times becomes divide. Positive becomes negative. It's all the opposite. So y is negative 2 here. So it's 4, negative 2. Okay, followed by 6. Can all of you, I give you one minute right now, you give me the answer. What is the value of y when x is equal to 6. One minute start from now, everybody try to write down in a piece of paper. Negative 1. Negative? 1. 1. So fast, who is that? 1. Yeah. Who is that? Just now? 1 Atila. 1 Atila. Very good. Atila, how do we get it? Atila, can you tell us how to get it? Yes. How do you get it? You calculate or not? I do the same thing as you did. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. The answer is negative one. Very good. It's correct. But then if you observe carefully, yeah, you see zero, two, four, six, eight. There's a pattern, right? And then you see the answer, negative four, negative three, negative two. Yes, the pattern will be negative 1. What about the next one? After negative 1 is? 0. 0. 
After that, this one is? Zero. One. 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 Zero. You one. Have one. one. Huh? one. Ah, okay, then we fill in all the ordered pace. Huh? Six, negative one. Eight. 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 Zero. This is ten. ten. One. One. Okay, so let's uh, carry on with our graph. This one. I'm wrap it off over here, but you don't wrap off your calculation. Huh? So the graph over here, we again, you need to find the largest and the small, smallest value, largest and the smallest for each of the axes. Okay, I repeat again. Huh? What do you call this line here? This is what axis? Remember, this is the x axis. This is the y axis. You got to remember, huh? so the largest value that we have for the x axis is 10. The smallest value that we have for the x axis is zero. Zero, correct. So, meaning you start from zero until 10 later on. And then for y, what is the largest value for y? One. One. Oh, meaning so y, the largest value is up to here. This part you don't have to draw so much. Okay, what is the smallest value? Negative four. negative 4 is the smallest one, meaning down here you have to extend until you get a negative 4. Okay, so I'm going to start drawing. So to draw it, I'm going to draw up here. Label it as X. And then for the Y, because we just need the 1 over here, I'm just going to write down, draw like this. So this is Y. Start with the origin here, 0. After that, Label the x axis 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So this one, you can just assume this is 1, this is 2. Okay, so I'm going to use the 2 here. This is 4, this is 6, this is 8, this is 10. Okay, if you want to do 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 with one box, also can. 2, 4, 6. Uh, I extend at the back, huh? you look at the right graph, huh? 2, 4, 6, at 10. Like this, with one part of the box also can. For my case over here, I assume 1 represent 1, 2 represent 2. Okay, so I already include from 0 to 10. Huh? Now I'm going to include the y axis over here from 1 to negative 4. So this is negative 1, eh, sorry, this is 1, this is Negative 1, it might not be enough space, so you have to make it smaller. This is negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. Negative four. Enough already, right? Because the largest, uh, the smallest value is negative 4. Enough, right? Okay. Now we are going to plot the point 0, negative 4, meaning on the x axis, this is 0. Can you see? 0, 1, 2. So this is 0. Negative 4 is where? Negative 4 is here. So it is on the line. Okay, I'm going to mark it here. And then we are going to mark the second point. 2, negative 3. So 2, negative 3 is down here. This point. After that, 4, negative 2. So 4, negative 2 is here. You keep marking it uh, until you finish everything. 6, negative 1. This is 6, negative 1 is here. Actually, I want to use the jackpot. Then later on, you can plot for me all the points. I want to see whether you can plot the points or not. At zero. At zero. But because a lot of you is playing with it, so I can't. I have to move back here. Then 10, 1. So 10, 1 is here. Okay? You refer to the coordinate. Lastly, then you just join up using ruler. Okay? So I use my ruler here. Make sure all the points are joined up correctly. So just draw the line, start from the first point to the last point. Okay, then it is done. Do you have any question, class? No. 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 So when, marking, uh, when the teacher is doing the marking, there are a few things that we are going to look at. The first thing is you draw your x-axis correctly by labeling x. Second, you draw your y-axis correctly by labeling y, okay? And 
you label your, the third one, uh, origin correctly by label zero. One thing, the mistake that students always make is what? The mistake that the students always make is they are going to draw four arrows like this. That is completely wrong. When you draw your graph, there's no arrow here and at the bottom. We only have arrow on the top and to the right. You get that? Yes. Okay, my yes. question, my, uh, my, what I indicate over here, how many of you know that the arrow is only showing up and also to the right? Raise up your hand. I want to see how many of you is not attentive. Raise up your hand. You understand that the arrow can be only two places. That is to the north and to the, um, what is that? Uh, east, to the north and to the east. Raise up your hand. Seven only. The rest didn't listen to me. I want to see everybody raise up your hand means you understand. My Thank point. You. Yeah. <laughs> I come back to the number of rest hand over here later on. So I repeat, uh, how, raise up your hand if you know that the arrow is only pointing up and pointing right. You cannot have your arrow pointing left, pointing down. Raise up your hand. Let me see. 22, 23, 24. Okay, 24 only. I have 35 right now, but I only have 24. They understand, they understand me, meaning the rest that is not here. You are not paying attention. I want to, I don't want to see what later on you draw your graph with all the error because that is what I get now. Huh? Previously, I have all the error given to me like that. That is not correct. Okay, and then make sure you need to label your graph. Don't just give me error with a straight line without labeling. You must label X, label Y. Okay, do I have to show you another example, class? No. No, huh? So what you need to do is, if you can show some of the calculation, three will do. If you can show all the calculation even better, then you continue with the table of value. After that, you draw your graph. That is the three steps. One, two, three. First step, you are given the equation. You have to construct table of value. Second, you are going to calculate each of the value. Calculate and then you fill in the table of value like this. Okay, that will be your walking or your step. You have to show this. Last, you construct your graph. Construct graph. And when you construct graph, make sure you have your x-axis drawn pointing to the right, y-axis drawn pointing to the top like this. Okay, with origin, then you plot all of it. And when you are doing the construction, make sure you find the largest and the smallest value for each of the axis. We call this axis. So this line here is x-axis. This line here is y-axis. And then this is the origin. Okay? Origin, I spelled wrongly, sorry. Origin. Okay, any question? No. No, madam. No.